there everybody today we will be performing a pretty simple not difficult at all uh, you might think it is a little difficult but um, trust me it's just four to five very simple steps so as you can see today will be a project okay using open cv in python now open cv you can go ahead and read a bit about it about what it exactly does but one of its great features is you can use its methods and functions to convert real life images into cartoon or sketch effects now today we will be doing just that for example we will be creating the cartoon effect of this cute little girl that you see using open cv in python also we will be creating this a picture of a very old man but enjoying some music and some instruments uh, we will be converting that into the cartoon image let's get started i hope you're excited now before you get started all you have to do is go ahead and pip install or conda install open cv python here's a quick run through of that in case you need it always as usual you need to run it as an administrator and let's go ahead and you need to say pip install OpenCV Python. That's all you've got to do, all right? And it'll do its job and everything. Now, coming to our code, you have to import, import CV2, okay? I've just given an alias as CV, but no need to do that. So import CV2 as CV. And our first work will be to go ahead and read an image, all right? So you either give an absolute path or wherever just be careful of the path of your image and that's it there so what you need to do is store it inside a variable i have taken img and you say cv dot im read that's the function you are looking for for reading any image and then we call the function convert now comes our main task so our first job is to convert the picture into a grayscale image. Basically, you will be grayscaling. Now, what is grayscaling? It's converting the color space of an image, okay, from let's say RGB to shades of gray, all right? That is a gray image. And for that, what you need to do is inside a variable gray image, you say cv.cvt capital C color, all right, cvt color. And to that, you take two parameters, first one being your source image. And the second one will be CV dot color underscore BGR to gray. All right. BGR, that's basically RGB to you're converting it to gray. OK, that's all it means. Now that you're done with that, you need to blur out an image. Now, why do you have to blur out an image? You see, cartoon images aren't very sharp and doesn't concentrate on displaying very sharp and precise details of the image. Hence, blur it out. You could use any of the various blurring techniques available out there, such as median blur, which basically takes the median of each, each pixel and works on it. And you have Gaussian blur, bilateral uh, filtering, etc but bilateral fl filtering is a little bit uh slower it has a higher processing time so let's avoid that so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to copy these lines and each step i will show you all as to how the image looks all right okay so cv.im show that's the image show all right stands for image show cv.im show and you need to you can just pass a title of the new window that will pop up and whatever image that you want to display so for this one i will be saying gray image let's go ahead and run this and see what actually is displayed this is the first step that is the gray image there you go this is a perfect black and white picture now, after the blurring session, we'll again try out what happens. First, let's understand blurring of an image. All right. Okay. So you have, we will be using a Gaussian blur. All right. But I'll also show you all an example of what median blur basically looks like. So what you need to do is basically just put in cv.median blur with a capital B. And to that, you pass the gray image and you give a kernel size of seven. Basically, it's dealing with each pixel. So it has to be an odd positive number. Hence, just take 357 and try out by yourself. Let's go ahead and see how this turns out to be. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run it again. There you go. Do you see how properly it has blurred out all the details and lines and everything? Okay, the sharpness is totally gone. So this is one way. Okay, remember how this looks, okay, with median blur. And then you can go ahead and choose any of your choice. Now I'll show you how this thing looks with Gaussian blur. 
all right it's not that detailed now what is taken into gaussian blur is the parameters that are taken here obviously the first will be the source image then you will have the width and height of the pixel again basically the kernel size you are but you are giving both the width and the height and this is basically the standard deviation of the kernel but we will we'll avoid that and keep it to zero so that it can just automatically calculate it and now i'm going to go ahead and show you all what a gaussian blur does compared to our gray image so do you see it's a lot less sharper than median blur so i prefer not to take median blur because it really uh, blurs out too much but it's totally up to you however you like your cartoon image to be all right i just wanted a little bit of precision to be in there totally your choice next now what we need to do is we need to find out the edges okay uh, we need to figure out the lines the outlines of a picture okay we take a black sketch pen and we figure out the border the outline that's what we'll be doing and we'll do that using adaptive threshold let's look into what that does now while i tell this okay first let's see what is thresholding now firstly thresholding works only on grayscale images hence we need it to convert it into the grayscale first and we will be getting the edges using this and a threshold value is set all right a maximum value and now each pixel is compared to that value if it is less than the threshold value it is considered as zero that is black and otherwise it is considered as 255 if it is greater than the threshold value and 255 is what it stands for white right now it basically separates the foreground from the background right that's what it does now you apply adaptive threshold with a capital t and your first one will be the image that you're working on that is blur image next you'll have the maximum value that is 255 in our case that's the highest possible now what has to be done is you take adaptive underscore thresh underscore mean underscore c so what is happening is it takes the mean of all the pixels around it and then it basically calculates it and lastly it'll and then it subtracts it from the constant out here okay we've taken it five again you can try out three five seven anything it has to be odd and positive and next what you have is cv thresh binary um now if it's greater it'll be one otherwise it'll be a zero as simple as that and now these are basically the constants that you we were talking about and lastly what you will have to do is you have a separate okay before that let me just show you how edge image basically looks like now you see the ones that were greater than the threshold have been made white that is 255 and the rest are black that is zero and hence you obtained the outline all right now we have our last step you have the original image that you inserted into the function right that was our image variable and you have a smoothened grayscale edge found image all right what you have to do is go and place the edge the one with the edge smoothened image on top of your original image and bingo you are going to get your cartoon effect or sketch effect so for that we will be using bitwise and the function bitwise and and to that you pass the three parameters the original image okay and then you apply the mask as edge image okay you mask it with your edge image and that's it we will go ahead and show our final output and cv.imshow we just saw that and what is cv.wait key basically until it waits for a user to press the key zero if you press zero it'll exit the new window that's basically it and let's go ahead and run this now okay do you see this is a very nice cartoon effect. You can go ahead and put in all your pictures of your choice and try this out. It was a very simple one. Hope you like it. And I'll see you again in the future. Bye-bye.